Thanks. Um, just two more things I'm going to do. I'm going to ask Emma from the business, Rob from the business community, uh, and to ask a quick question. I'll do a couple of candidates. Let's go when you're ready. So Harlow is home to many small businesses like ours who are on a journey of expansion and growth. But we find that the current business rate regime makes it very difficult to move to larger premises, to move to a high street shop front, or perhaps to expand to multiple premises. Um, it just becomes unaffordable when you suddenly go from full relief to zero relief in a very short step. What would you do to address this significant barrier to growth for small businesses? Barriers and growth to small businesses. Chris. Thank you for your question. And I'm very keen that the, the next Labour government is a friend to business and a friend to small and medium sized businesses. It probably hasn't helped that over the course of the last government, business rates have changed 26 times. Um, and uh, you know, you're constantly living with that uncertainty. Um, I want to work with small businesses. The uh, Labour Party is determined to work with small businesses to ensure that they have that business tax rate relief that you're talking about. We're also going to introduce a national wealth fund to actually put investment into small businesses to help them grow. This statistic, I think it's, I'm, good, I'm making this number up now, but it's about, it's about two thirds, I think, of, uh, of, of uh, people working in this country are actually working for, in, in the private sector, are working for small and medium sized enterprise. So it's clearly, it's, it's, it's the lifeblood of our community, uh, and I think that for too long that you have absolutely been forgotten. Thank you. Thank you. 